Hello and welcome back to Megzone. In the previous lectures, we have already covered the topics on milling, powdered metallurgy, grinding, then we have also covered about jigs and fixtures. And today we shall be studying about the four main non-conventional processes that is ECM. ECM stands for electrochemical machining, EDM stands for electrode discharge machining, USM simply stands for ultrasonic machining and AGM stands for abrasive jet machining. Now these are the unconventional or the non-traditional machining processes. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe to our channel because this is the only channel on YouTube which is providing the entire study material and quality video lectures of mechanical engineering subjects without any cost. No cost you have to pay. You simply have to view our lectures, make your own notes and prepare for the examination. You may also discuss your problems with us on our Facebook page. And soon we are also going to launch a WhatsApp group where we will be having one-to-one -one discussions with people so that uh, those who are asking doubts can directly post their doubts on that group. So uh, today we shall be starting with the first non-conventional process that is ECM and the full form of ECM is electrochemical machining. Now electrochemical machining is nothing. It is very very similar to the process of electrolysis. Now what was taking place in electrolysis? In case of electrolysis there were two electrodes. One was the positive and other was the negative electrode and in between these two electrodes there was an electrolyte solution which was filled and this electrolyte was actually conducting in nature and the electrolyte should be generally a in, in its aqueous solution or in its molten state and it should be a compound of uh, either it should be a polar covalent compound like HCl or it can be a electrovalent compound like NaCl, KCl etc. Okay, so electrolyte is actually allowing the electric current to flow through it. So in this type of machining, we are mainly move, removing the metal particles atom by atom. Since the particles are being removed in the form of atoms, so you can imagine how slow this process actually is. And it is the reverse of electrolysis. So electrolysis, to hume pata hi hai. so here we are actually having the reverse of electrolysis. Now. Here we have to note this point that it is low voltage and high current process. This is a low voltage and high current process. Very costly installations. The installation setup is very very costly but the operational cost is very low. The material which is being removed is directly proportional to the current settings and the electrolyte temperature. So we have to also remember this thing that the material which is being removed depends upon the current settings and also upon the temperature of the electrolyte that is being used. Economics is justified by the quality of products it produces. So the quality of product that is being produced by the electrochemical machining is so good that it you know balances or simply equivalent equi, equi, it is balance जो भी उसमें कॉस्ट लगा है और जो उसमें प्रोडक्ट हमें ऑप्टेन हुए काफी अच्छे प्रोडक्ट्स ऑप्टेन होते हैं इसलिए वो हमारी कॉस्ट को बैलेंस हो जाता है सो दिस इज द द डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग प्रोसेस ओके सो हियर वी आर सीइंग दैट द मटेरियल इज बीइंग रिमूव्ड एंड दिस इज द एक्चुअल सेटअप ओके सो दिस वाज ऑल दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी इन द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग and one most important thing that we have to remember is it is a low voltage high current process and it is a very slow process because the material or the particles are being removed in the form of atoms and the amount of material which is being removed was proportional to the current settings and the temperature of electrolyte or electrolyte hamara conducting hona chahiye tha nature mein or conducting tabhi hoga when it is made up of the electrovalent compound or the ionic compound ya fir polar covalent compound hona chahiye hamara ओके तो ये तो था हमारा इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग के बारे में नाउ वी कम टू इलेक्ट्रोड डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज ईडीएम द डायग्राम ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग यू कैन सी हियर दिस प्रोसेस दिस इज एक्चुअली द सेटअप फॉर द इलेक्ट्रोड डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग नाउ सिंस द वर्ड डिस्चार्ज हैज कम हियर 
the word discharge is here so i have already explained you that in case of discharge when we have to produce a discharge the voltage should be high and the current should be less so the first and the most important point of this process is it is a low current and high voltage process whereas electrochemical machining was low voltage and high current process so since the discharge jahan bhi hame discharge produce karna hoga wahan pe hamara hamesha voltage zyada hoga aur current kam hoga it is also called as the spark erosion process which is in involving the removal of material by repeated sparks so high voltage ke karan jo hamare sparks produce honge aur discharge which is being produced that discharge is actually utilized in removing the material and this is a process where some portion of the tool is also melting out because of the high melting point सो क्योंकि क्योंकि काफ़ी डिस्चार्ज जो होगा टेम्परेचर बढ़ाएगा तो उसके कारण हमारा जो पोर्शन ऑफ द टूल इज ऑल्सो मेल्टिंग आउट सो वी आर यूजिंग टूल मेड अप ऑफ ग्रेफाइट विच इज एक्चुअली हैविंग अ हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सो ये भी एक बार क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था कि इन केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग वी आर मेकिंग द टूल विच इज मेड अप ऑफ ग्रेफाइट वाई तो द आंसर वॉज सिंस इट इज एन स्पार्क इरोजन प्रोसेस एंड इट विल इन्वॉल्व द इरोजन ऑफ द टूल इट सेल्फ and hence we are using a tool made up of graphite because it is having a higher melting point and it can also be machined to a higher degree of accuracy now when the spark is being produced the spark is incident on the surface of the workpiece and it is actually creating holes or craters on the surface of the workpiece and the material removal rate mrr is the material removal rate increases with the thermal conductivity of the वर्क पीस मोर द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ द वर्क पीस मोर विल बी द मेटर रिमूवल रेट सो वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग दैट इट इज अ लो करेंट हाई वोल्टेज प्रोसेस एंड एम आर आर इंक्रीजेज विद द इंक्रीज इन द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ द वर्क पीस ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी इन द इलेक्ट्रो डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग दिस हैज बीन इट सी एक्चुअली इट शुड बी डी इलेक्ट्रो डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग ओके सो the next process that we have to study is the ultrasonic machining now we have already studied about the ultrasonic welding in the chapter when we were studying about the welding process but today we shall be studying about the ultrasonic machining so ultrasonic machining uh, actually involves the production of ultrasound waves or ultrasound uh, energy which is produced by an electrical transducer okay transducer is actually converting uh, some form of energy into ultrasound energy and this ultrasound energy is then used for machining process so the first point is tool is made up of the ductile material okay tool is made up of the ductile material this is an important point then we have non conducting brittle materials like glasses and ceramics can be machined so we have already discussed in the welding part also that ultrasonic machining can be used to weld brittle materials like glasses so here also the machining of the glasses and ceramics can be done by means of ultrasonic machining abrasive slurry is used between the tool and the workpiece so between the tool and the workpiece we are actually using a slurry and this slurry is actually composed of some abrasive particles okay so on increasing the viscosity of the carrier fluid mrr decreases ye to bahut but obvious reason hai ki agar hum viscosity ko increase kar denge we are increasing the viscosity then it would be very difficult for the liquid to carry away the already removed material so if it is not being removed very easily then definitely the material removal rate will be decrease or mrr decreases okay next is mrr increases with the increase in frequency all these points are very important to be remembered because these have been asked in some of the other how in one marks questions in gate okay so i am uh, making it bold and italics so mrr also increase with the increase in the amplitude due to the increased momentum of the abrasive particle so if we are increasing the amplitude then also the material rem uh, removal rate is increasing because this is actually leading to the increase in the momentum of the abrasive particles and hence the removal of the material is taking place very fast and the material removal rate also increases with the increase in the concentration of the abrasives so ye bahut important points hai however it may be difficult to remember these points in this manner so what i have done is 
I have prepared the graphs. These three graphs are corresponding to the ultrasonic machining and uh, MRR versus the frequency graphs of frequency badhane se hamara MRR is generally increasing. Okay, now this question was asked in gate I think 2016 it was asked or kafi achcha question tha ki by increasing the grain size the MRR it will first increase reaches a maxima and then it will decrease. Okay, it will first increase then reaches a maxima and then it will decrease and on increasing the amplitude the MRR is also increasing. So if we are going up that means amplitude is amplitude on the right x is increasing and MRR is uh, also increasing. So if we talk about grain size uh, variation se hamara MRR kaise vary ho hai. So let me tell you by increasing the size of the abrasive particle okay the impact will be there on the larger area of the workpiece okay and when the size is increased beyond a certain level the momentum of the abrasive particles will decrease and hence the MRR will decrease okay so these are the three graphs that we have to keep in mind because these all three graphs are very very important now what we have done is we have simply made a comparison between the electrochemical machining electro discharge machining and ultrasonic machining so metal removal rate is very high in case of ECM then in EDM and then in USM that is the ultrasonic machining and tool wear tool wear is highest in case of ultrasonic machining then in electro discharge machining and the least is in case of electrochemical machining okay so these two data also needs to be remembered because they are very very important and they are as in the various interviews and the various examinations okay so ye jo hai yahan par opposite order aa gaya jo ki yahan par likha hua to yahan ek aap yaad rakhiye dusra jo hoga uska simply opposite ho jayega okay so only this portion needs to be studied in this portion now we come to the last non-conventional process and it is called as the abrasive jet machining okay so this is a nozzle and the nozzle is producing a very very high pressured liquid or a fluid which is being forced through this nozzle and this liquid is actually cutting or machining the workpiece okay so for making very fine hole of about 0.02 mm size abrasive jet machining is used abrasives and air are mixed together and they are being forced through the nozzle at very high speed okay so spark creates a crater on the workpiece by striking it oh i'm so sorry uh yahan to koi spark ka koi provision hi nahi hai point i think galatly se add ho gaya hoga so please make a correction here koi spark nahi hai aap is simply kya hai the abrasives and the air which are being mixed they are forced through the nozzle and they are made to strike on the workpiece and as a result of which the machining process is done and it is used for those types of machining processes which is mainly used for inaccessible areas jahan par machining kar pana bahut mushkil hota hai wahan par hum kya use karte hain hamara abrasive jet machining and i am so sorry this point is also from the ecm please remove it so we are having just the three points which are written at the top i'm so sorry those points were not included in a abrasive jet machining rather they were in the ecm okay so it is used for producing very fine holes and it is also used for cleaning the metallic molds metallic molds ko clean karne ke liye bhi hamara ye wala process that is abrasive jet machining hum use karte hain so now the nozzle tip distance now we have the graph of the nozzle tip distance and the material removal rate now when the nozzle tip distance is increased a little bit matlab hum jaise jaise apne work piece se nozzle ko thoda upar leke aayenge to hame ye pata matlab hum ye observe karenge ki definitely thoda sa area jo hai wo bad jayega jahan par aapka hamara jo jet hai strike kar raha hoga to definitely hamara jaise jaise hum distance badhate jayenge hamara area of contact badhega upar le jate samay par तो इसलिए हमारा मेटल रिमूवल रेट एक पॉइंट पर इंक्रीज कर गया अगर हमारा चेट बहुत ज्यादा ऊपर चला गया तो अब 
द फोर्स विद विच द जेट विल स्ट्राइक द वर्क पीस विल बी रिड्यूस्ड एंड हेंस द मटीरियल रिमूवल रेट विल बी डिक्रीज तो ये भी क्वेश्चन हमारा पूछा गया है दैट हाउ द मटीरियल रिमूवल रेट विल वेरी विद द नोजल टिप डिस्टेंस इन केस ऑफ द एब्रेसिव जेट मशीनिंग सो फर्स्ट इट विल इंक्रीज एंड देन इट विल डिक्रीज ओके नाउ विद द साइज ऑफ द एब्रेसिव पार्टिकल्स इट विल इंक्रीज सिंपली इट विल इंक्रीज ओके so next graph was percentage of grain so percentage of grain actually also is same as USM that is ultrasonic machining it will increase reaches a maxima and then it will decrease now with the stand off distance as the stand off distance is increased that is stand off distance is actually the distance between the nozzle tip and the work piece so this is actually accuracy is decreasing because the area in which or at which the nozzle the fluid which sorry the jet which is coming out needs to be focused it will not be able to focus on that particular area rather it would be sprinkling or spattering over the other surface areas of the work piece and hence the accuracy is getting decreased when the increasing with the increasing stand off distance so with this we come to the end of this lecture i hope that you people have really enjoyed uh, learning about the non conventional processes in such a small manner and i request you all to kindly subscribe to our channel and also tell about this channel to your friends and colleagues so that they are also benefited on a large large scale and soon we'll be launching a video on how to do the quick revisions and we shall also be completing the topic on gyroscope and material science uh, we'll be studying about the iron carbon diagram and the heat treatment processes so thank you so much and do stay tuned to our channel for more lectures thank you